Hi, my loves. It's your Raymond Lady Girl from Around the Way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a episode review of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Okay, down below. All right. We, this name of the episode is called It's Getting Hot in Here. Now, before I hop into my commentary, sister, make sure you like this video, like this video, and go ahead and help us out. Or I'm trying to get back into the algorithm, back into the good graces of the good people over at YouTube Meta, wherever we're at. Okay. Um, if you like this type of commentary, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, okay? It lets YouTube know that we really like this content that this girl is doing, okay? And it continues to grow the community, y'all. Can y'all believe it's December? Bitch, it's December in this motherfucker. Like, y'all, what a wild, wild, wild ride this year has been. Thank you all for this continued support. I can't even have the words. I don't even have the words. Just... Thank you. Thank you for holding me down, down below. Okay. Now let's get into it. So Ocean and Erica, they squabbling, squabble up. Ooh, squabble up. Ooh, ooh. Like, I'm like, oh my God. Like not they, it was a tussle. That first round was a tussle. The girls were kind of just sitting around like, um, like you see Henny's hand. She's like, girl, are we really doing this or what? Because Erica thought, cause she bippity boppity boop that one girl that it was about to be what it was. But a uh, ocean, she got a she got a good one. The girl is scrappy. I mean, she she got two left feet. She can't really, you know, whoop de whoop de woo. You know, she can't really hang. But she got a little something on her, and it got bad. They were holding each other down. Let go of her hair. Let go of her hair. You know, she's like, this is my real hair. This is my real hair. And so Erica is like, let's go again. Let's go again. I don't care. Let's go again. Let's go again. Jocelyn is trying to hold her back because they're saying that you know security couldn't get them. Jocelyn was trying to get her free fills off of the Erica. She was trying to get them free fills off of the Erica. I don't really see it for Erica, though. I don't know why. I'm not into the surge look. I'm not into the surge look at all. Like, mm mm, -mm. But, um... Ocean steady popping in like, oh, I didn't want to fight you. I didn't want to fight you. But you you, you you need to lay off that liquor. You need to get off that liquor. She's like, girl, what? I'll come to practice. Da, da, da. So Emmy starts popping in too. Like, girl, well, why was you standing up? Why was you standing up? She's like, because I was standing up because I wanted her to feel me. I wanted her to feel me. I wanted her to know that I wasn't on no type of time. I just had to say what I had to say. She was like, yeah, you want to fight me? The girl, I got two black eyes. Like, girl, whatever. Like, that's weird. That's weird. So Jocelyn's trying to, you know, calm them down. Erica was like, girl, you look like a clown. You should be auditioning for Chuck E. Cheese. Now, when she said that, now, now that chuckled. I keep keep in a cock cock. Not auditioning for Chuck E. Cheese, girl. Ricardo was like, girl, y'all tearing my nerves up. We need to start practicing. So Ricardo makes them practice and it was like they were fighting for their spot in the doom cha cha. Everybody, doom cha cha. Okay, they was fighting for the doom chan chan song. Doom chan chan. That's what I used to call it a couple uh, last season. Doom chan chan. So they had the doom cha cha for their life to see who would get that spot. Jocelyn talks about the girls. I love you. I love you so much because you don't want to go back to the strip club, Stevie. You don't want to go back to the strip club. And I've and I've, I've worked hard. I've worked hard, okay? And she, she does work hard. The next day, they are rehearsing again. And I mean, when I tell you there was something special about this episode, there was just a lot of assets. There were a lot of assets. And there was a lot of shaking of said assets. And, you know, this reminds me of the old Jocelyn's Cabaret, the old Zeus Network, when they used to show a little pootie tang. They used to show a little nippy clip. I'm like, oh. Like not a little nipple twister. They used to show it all. So Jocelyn tells Meek in the um in the dance, like, hold on, but she whispers her, like, don't stop because I'm following you or whatever. And I'm like, okay, Jocelyn giving her her runs. You know, Neek is a good dancer. So she was like, I don't need you to stop. So Jocelyn is directing the people on the stage. Like, they're gonna have to move this part, they're gonna have to move this tray. I don't care. They can do it for an hour. It is what it is. I'm the only one on the bar. I don't want to catch you girls on the bar. You stay back there. She's doing her big balls. Big Dominican, okay. She's still in her big Puerto Rican situation. So, um, you know, Ricardo tells them to walk more feminine. You need to be in your feminine energy. Y'all walking like some N words, you know. It was just a lot of poochie. It was a lot of poochie, and it was prancing and pooching, okay. So, in the next scene, we have um, who do we have? Andrea, Danny, and Raven. And he talked a little bit about Henny. And Raven's a hater. She's like, what is Rose they gonna do with that 50K? I mean, she's 21 years old. I mean, she doesn't know what she's doing. And I don't know if you guys know this, but she has a dragon breath. Okay, she's Rose the magic dragon. And Henny's just sitting there like, mm hmm I already know. Like, girl, she ain't she ain't taking for her friend or ex friend at all. And it's like in the confessional, it's like, how is she gonna be the one? Cause um, 
Jocelyn had mentioned like who is in the top three of the running of the 50K. And she mentioned that it was Hennessy, Neek, and Rose. And um, not Hennessy, girl. And B. Who's the girl? H what's the girl name? Hen not Hennessy. Neek, Rose, and MB. Jesus of course. So they're like, how is she in, uh, you know, gonna be the the whatever, whatever, whatever the whole time? She's uh she's um a thief. Like, I don't even understand that. So they're just hating on the girl. And the next thing we have Ocean, Envy, and Neek, and et cetera, et cetera, group talk about anything. Ocean comes in and she apologizes. I apologize, Erica, because, you know, I, I had to go back and I had to think about it. I don't know what I look like to you guys, but I'm just really sorry. Erica's like, girl, once a snake is always a snake. I really don't care. You didn't have to throw me under the bus like that. It is what it is. It was no need for you to do this. And, you know, I don't really want, I don't really want nothing to do with you. You know, she was like, I know. I, she was like, but you said that before. You said the same exact thing. You went back and you thought about it and now you look weird and now you don't want to do it. Like, girl, I feel like if you're going to be like that, just stand on. Don't be going to put the flip floppy on the, on the fakeness. Cause girl, that's even worse. You don't even know if you want to be fake. If you want to be for real, you don't know if you want to be the good guy or the villain. Now that is diabolical. So, you know, they are just talking back and forth. They start talking about Rose and, um, ocean just wanted to be known. Like, I don't feel no kind of way about you. It just is what it is. It's, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Erica ain't beat. Rose says, you know, to Emmy, the girl, I want you to know, I still that chain. All right, go get your chain. All right, go get your chain. So, you know, she's just like, Emmy, she still got smoke about that chain. You know what I'm saying? It's no other way to flip it. Dip it. She mad about that chain, but you know, she gonna keep it cute. Um, and we said, you know, at the end of the day, if I fought you today or tomorrow, like my chain's still missing. So it really don't matter. She's steady throwing Hennessy under the bus, but she's like, girl, I don't got that chain. So the, the girls are getting ready to, um, oh, they said, what, um, what about you and Rose or you and Henny? She was like, girl, I pay her dust. I don't think about her at all. And Envy instigating. Well, I think it's weird that y'all ain't fight yet. Why? That's you, girl. They, they still probably have mutual respect for each other. It's just that. I don't look at that. Okay. That's a, that's a real thing, guys. Come on. We live in a real world. So they get ready to go for rehearsal, wherever the hell. That's what they was doing the whole time. Okay. She basically says she, she paying Hennessy dust and she don't give a damn. Okay. So the girls are getting ready for this big performance in San Antonio and they look good. I mean, the outfits look great. Look at how beautiful Raven looks. I mean, like, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I used to tear Raven up. But Raven is sexy. Like, I'm talking thick. I'm talking pretty. She's a little on the shorter side. Um, you know, I'm just talking like my real preference. Um, you know, I like them nice and big, but you know, whatever. She's very, very beautiful. I'm like, wow, 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 wow. Um, and so the girls are outside getting a pep talk by Jocelyn's, you know, Jocelyn's cabaret. And they all look really good. Jocelyn looked the fuck good, baby. Jocelyn, she is a bad boosh. Say what you want. So um, that whole little situation was just giving. They look good as fuck. Um, she says, you know, one day I want to, you know, be in the cabaret or, you know, want to give the cabaret. Oh, no, that wasn't at this point. Anyway, they chant for Jocelyn to come out. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. And I ain't going to hold you. Ricardo kind of like, he kind of like that. Like that fucking choreography that they doing, that show probably busting, honestly. Busting, busting, baby, coming to the floor. It's kind of busting for real. So they do the show, the performance, uh, Hennessy Shoe Breaks, girl, Envy Shoe Breaks. I'm like, where did they get these little cheapy DB? Okay, shoes one, two, three. Um, from why is everybody's shoes so bust down and broke down? Okay. Um can you need uh baby come on to the floor and bust it, bust it. Girl, I'm distracted like a motherboard. Um, y'all make sure you follow me on TT. That's TikTok. So um, the, the show just looked really, really good. The crowd gave a lot of energy. Um, and it just gave like a really good moment. I don't know. It just seemed really, really good. Like, I don't know. They just really looked good. Even though the girl broke, she said she was still rocking out. Um, and Andre was on the pole when Andre was on the pole. I was like, golly, like, oh my God. Like, you know, they really just looked amazing. Like Andrea, say what you want about her. And she looks a mess and she can't fight it, baby. But she was on that pole. She looked strong. She looked healthy. And she looked sexy. Okay. She's sexy. Um, 
What else? Oh, Jocelyn gave a moment for Raven because she was like doing a little doggy style behind Raven. And so she calls Raven back out to the stage because it was like calling for Raven. Raven, Raven, like Raven, come on, come back out here, come back out here. And I think she, Raven was like, I really love that because, you know, me and Jocelyn had our differences. But I love that, you know, she kind of gave me my flowers because Raven is lit. Raven is turned up and Raven looks good. She knows how to put on, on a performance. And she's been handling herself like a true professional. I mean, she's a profession now. You hear what I'm saying? And I think that it was cool that she was able to get, um, you know, her recognition like that. I love to see that. Okay. And she was like, you know, Jocelyn, she really knows me. And I feel like they're both Scorpio. She really does know that girl. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, y'all going to have to understand. Y'all going to have to deal. So after the show, they were just all discussing and talking. Like, girl, I think this was the best show we ever had. This was the best show we literally ever had. Cancun is the next show. And they're all surprised. Like, oh, my God, Mexico? We're going to Mexico? And she's like, you know, one day I'm not going to be able to do this. And I want Andrea to be able to run it. I'm like, girl, you need to have Raven running it. But okay. I think it was because Andrea is probably more trained in dancing and pole and showmanship. I don't know. But, you know, she's like, so... Jocelyn to Hennessy, uh, you ready to see Rose go? Like, you know, just get it popped off or whatever. And then Raven just butts in, like, girl, you're 21. You don't know. You don't know um what you're gonna do with that money. Like, I, I just feel like you just don't deserve that money. Raven is right here in the brown. Look how good she look. I wish this was zoomed in. She looked good. You hear what I'm saying? Even with the boots and the hat, I'm not really a big fan. Cause I mean, they kept talking about how hot it is. So I don't know what she's doing in the boots, but Raven look good. Um, look how sure she is. But no, so they're like, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I just feel like, you know, your your hygiene isn't the best. Like your breath is just too much. And I feel like you don't know what you're doing. And I'm like, oh, now my, now my breath. She's like, my breath, my breath. She ain't go around putting it in everybody's face like Isaiah did. But everybody like, you know, she was like, girl, they was talking about your P-U-S. That's why I was talking about uh, Hennessy. She was like, girl, so they started off saying that. They started off saying that. But, you know, I can't deal with Hennessy, like, in the confession, like, I can't deal with nobody with stink breath, and I'm not, but, but you was her friend this whole time, girl, which one is it giving? It's giving, like, all right, so, y'all was cool the whole time, it wasn't hot then, or is it just, now that you mad, you about to just be like, girl, <laughs> I'm spraying you, sister, because you've been blowing my head off, I don't know what it's giving. But um, what you call him came around and was like, I don't care. I, I, I mess with you. You cool. You know what it is. You, da -da -da, she went down the line. You, you, and you. You know what I mean? She's like, I, she's like, I dance better than all y'all on a broken ankle. I don't know what y'all talking about. You know what's up. And Neek said she stood on her business. You know, it is what it is. She was like, you know, she stood on her tent. Ain't nobody say nothing. Ain't nobody pull up to the middle. It just was like, yeah, that's what she said. So Jocelyn, she's like, okay. You know, she's like, Hennessy, like, listen, I know you're going to do what you got to do for the cabaret. So it is, it's going to be what it's going to be, you know? So you decide. So Jocelyn starts popping her mom and D, her madam rose, her madam Jocelyn cabaret. And you bitches, you better be out here sucking mic. I can't even deal with you hoes because you always play. And that's that. why I sound like Miss Cleo Call me now. She just goes off on them doing her whole Jocelyn's cabaret thing. You better be willing to kiss the ground I walk on. If you're not about to be up, up under my butt, then you better leave buttercup. Like she was going off. And her true, true Jocelyn situation, okay? She was talking so vulgar. I can't even say it. I don't even have a code to say it, all right? She was talking about golden things and mouths and things and terrible things, okay? Terrible, terrible things. And the girls are just sitting there taking it so she was talking to uh, Nick. she's like you're not that bitch you're not that bitch you're not better you got uh, you you acting like you, i don't know you don't got no food stuck in them cheap veneers like she just breaking these girls down this is the entertainment piece i believe this is the piece that get us going like oh jocelyn treat the girls really bad oh why was she trying to downplay the girls it's starting to give like maybe gimmicky because you know you know jocelyn is who she is but she got to play this character of this madam of the cabaret type of situation i do believe she don't want them girls bigger than her but it just didn't seem as believable not as believable you you coughing at me ho now that sounded real Nick just sitting there like, what you looking at me like that for what you looking at me like that for what you looking at me like that for? Like, i don't know i'm just laughing i'm just i'm just laughing Nick knew to keep it cute okay Nick knew not to go crazy then which i can appreciate and ricardo was like you just gonna have to sleep on it so she's nine girls she's gonna have to take eight and it kind of just felt like girl another episode girl pick them girls now so they're like where's rose at girl rose is in a car and she crying hard i don't know what she crying for because it says her breath stink or she was crying because she might lose that fifty thousand girl i don't know i can't tell but her feelings were really hurt. Her feelings were really hurt. It was just like, see, you know, she already left. See what I mean? She, she's where she needs to be. 
Rosie, don't you get up there and ugly cry, cry like that, girl. Jocelyn ain't say you was gone or nothing. What you crying for? You ain't even eliminated, sister. I think she's her. You know what it is? She's hurt over Hennessy. Because she thought that that was her homegirl. She thought that that was her big sis. And that betrayal is coming in and stinging, baby. Ooh, ooh. I hate a betrayal. I hate that for her. Um, Let's get into the final thoughts. Ocean, girl, uh. Ocean, girl, uh. Is you is or is you ain't my baby, okay? What are we doing? Is you the villain? Is you the good girl? I'm the good guy. Uh, you don't even dance that good to be doing all of that. Ocean, we just need a, we just need to have, we need to fill that minority slot, and you just so happen to be the girl for the job, girl. Please stop with these people. If you're gonna stand on it, stand on it because you look worse. Like it was corny for you to apologize. You could have been like, I said what I said, and you know, we can move past it or we can't. Like, girl, you do know that this is TV. You do know this these are girls that work in a club. Like, mm -mm, I don't know. Um, why Jocelyn tear them girls up like that? She knows that Neek is one of her better dancers. And let me just say this here, because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I like Neek. I'm sorry. I was talking a little crazy about Neek. I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure. I had a chance to visit her Instagram page and wow, I mean, stunning this girl is. She's a really, really good dancer. Beautiful. It's that pretty brown round driving me. I said, oh my God, this is Neek. Ooh, this little TV show ain't doing her just to be on her Instagram. Honey, I was like, damn, she kind of, she kind of turned. Okay, little mama bad as hell. Little mama bad as hell. Remember that? I like a light skin, dark skin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all probably don't even know that song. But um, yeah, Nick is cute. Rose, she she don't she gotta do to stay there. She just needs to stop ugly crying. It is what it is, girl. And um, Jocelyn, as always, per usual, look the fuck good. I was like, damn. Okay, Jocelyn has been on our TV screens for forever and a day, honey. And she is still, she's still having it. She still got it. She still is giving a girl his hope and giving a girl's fashion. Love this so much. Love this down. Want to know what you think? Drop it in the comment section, okay? As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.